Welcome to the Thrive Nudge Book Club. Today we're diving into the world of Mustafa Suleiman and his groundbreaking book, The Coming Wave, Technology Power in the 21st Century's Greatest Dilemma. The main focus of this enlightening book is about the potential and risks of artificial intelligence in transforming society. Before we jump into the coming wave, let's take a quick detour through Suleiman Tech Adventure. As co-founder of DeepMind, a startup bought later by Google, and then boom, in 2016, their AlphaGo model beats a global Go champ totally flipping the script on what we thought machines could achieve. Fast forward a bit and Mustafa's leading the charge at Inflection AI, with a vision to make AI more like your go-to buddy for a chat than just another gadget. And recently appointed as the big boss of Microsoft AI, he's shaping the future of AI on a massive scale. Talk about a wild ride, but yet full of reflection through the tech world. All right, now let's zoom into the heart of the coming wave. Before that, let's get on the same page about how to view this video. We're not just flipping through pages here, we're connecting the dots between concepts and terms that Mustafa throws our way. It's all about seeing how these ideas dance together rather than marching through the book chapter by chapter. Let's dive into this tech soup and start making sense of the flavors. In the book, AI, or artificial intelligence, is defined as the science of teaching machines to learn human-like capabilities. AGI, artificial general intelligence, represents on the other hand the stage at which an AI can perform all human cognitive skills better than the smartest humans. As the midpoint between AI and AGI, ACI, artificial capable intelligence, can achieve a wide range of complex tasks but is not fully general. Okay, we had a short overview of the different classifications of AI, now back to the basics and let's understand the definition of technology in this complex context. Technology is the application of scientific knowledge, in the broadest sense, to produce tools or practical outcomes. Here come next term as a foretaste for first part of the title. Waves in this context aren't about surfing or zapping your dinner in the microwave, nope, we're talking about the global diffusion or proliferation of a generation of technology, anchored in a new general-purpose technology. Besides the advancement of quantum computing, Mustafa thinks that synthetic biology will play a major role in the next wave and define it as the ability to design and engineer new organisms or redesign existing biological systems. We will deep dive in this giant field in another video when we discuss the book The Code Breaker. Until then, we've still got more on our plate than a buffet at a weightlifters convention. Now is time to connect the dots as I promised you at the beginning. The coming wave is an emerging cluster of technology centered on AI and synthetic biology, offering transformative applications that empower humankind, but also present unprecedented risks. Suleiman even dedicated a whole chapter to the four features of the coming wave which are its unique characteristics that exacerbate containment challenges, including asymmetry, hyper-evolution, omni-use, and autonomy. Let's stick to this level folks, because diving any deeper into these four features and we might as well kick off our own podcast series. Alright, time to switch gears and get down to brass tacks. What's Mustafa's game plan or better yet his strategy here? Listen up everyone, there's one term you've got to memorize and I mean, tattoo it on your brain. Containment. Containment is the ability to monitor, control, curtail, and potentially even shut down technologies. Again, containment is the ability to monitor, control, curtail, and potentially even shut down technologies. But as you know, not that simple. The containment problem is the technology's tendency to diffuse widely and have emergent impacts that are unpredictable and uncontrollable, including negative and unforeseen consequences. That leads us to the dilemma in this context, the increasing likelihood that new technologies, or even their absence, could lead to catastrophic or dystopian outcomes. As we move forward, we're diving into some further concepts and terms that zoom in on society, the nation-state, and the ripple effects of this incoming tech wave on the future of nations. Get ready to explore how these ideas intertwine and shape our collective future. Mustafa mentions a complex term, the grand bargain and defines it as the expectation that in exchange for a monopoly over the use of force, nation-states will preserve order and provide public services harnessing new technologies while minimizing harmful side effects. In the book you will hear multiple times the term fragility amplifiers and even dedicated a chapter to it, 
the term refers to the applications and impacts of coming wave technologies that could weaken the already fragile foundations of the nation-state. Pessimism aversion is a further concept that describes the tendency, especially among elites, to ignore, downplay, or reject overly negative narratives, a variant of optimism bias, prevalent in debates about the future and technology. The narrow path is the potential for humanity to find a balance between openness and restriction in containing the technologies of the coming wave, avoiding catastrophic or dystopian outcomes. For Mustafa it will be very challenging to find it but should and must be possible. He even went and defined 10 steps towards containment in the last chapter. Alright folks, we've zipped through the high seas of Mustafa Suleiman's The Coming Wave, touching on everything from AI buddies to tech tsunamis. We've got a glimpse into Mustafa's brainy blueprint on navigating the tidal forces of technology with the anchor of containment. Remember, this whirlwind tour is just the appetizer, the main course awaits in the pages of the book. So happy reading! Let this video serve as your compass through Mustafa's strategies for embracing the technological wave that's already crashing on our shores. And hey, don't sail this sea alone, drop your thoughts and your own book recommendations in the comments. Got a perspective that can add more spice? We're all ears! Join our book club community and smash that subscribe button. Let's keep these conversations rolling. Welcome aboard, and let's navigate these waves together.